Zhang Xiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people, winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the imperial court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The imperial court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. This is a most deplorable sight. I never expected to see the land in such a poor and wretched state. Cao Cao. He was the cousin of both Shaho Yuan and Shaho Dun. A man of keen judgment and decisive personality. He got his start as a low-ranking official in Luo Young. Upon receiving orders to assist in the efforts to put down the Yellow Turban Rebellion, he made his way to the Central Plains. However, his keen insight caused him to look beyond the situation at hand to what lay ahead. In their poverty, the people rose up and cast out the evil that was plaguing the land. Yet, those same people in their turn turned to pillaging and plunder in order to support their newly found power. Clearly without rules, there is not much separating people from mere beasts. Ah, my lord, there you are! You can't be going off on your own like this. You're responsible for an actual army now! So, that is you as a lord. You do have your own sense of honor, do you not? This isn't the time for jokes. I'm simply trying to do my best here, given the situation. Oh, that reminds me. Cousin Dune was looking for you. We should go meet up with him. Cao Cao, did you find what it was you were looking for? That's why you agreed to help put down the yellow turbans, right? Indeed. Though I served as an official in Luoyang, I never really saw the plight of the people. However, the world is in more trouble than I ever anticipated. The wretched state of this region appears to have been caused by more than just the yellow turbans. There must be something else behind it as well. Hmm? Excuse me. I heard that you were here to help put down the yellow turbans. Yes, that is correct. Are you also a member of our cause? My name is Sun Jian. Like you, I am part of the subjugation force assembled by the Imperial forces. I've just received word from our scouts that a yellow turban army is marching on this village. Could I ask you to assist with its defense? This village has already seen more than its fair share of suffering. We would be honored to help defend it. You have my gratitude. Now, let us repel the darkness of tyranny wherever it may arise. We shall eliminate these yellow turban rebels that are targeting the village. Xiao Dun, Xiao Yuan, come with me. 
Now's their chance to attack the village. Zing. Let's go, you rebel. Zing. Picking a fight with the yellow turban. Surrender or die! Say, call you! Get in the way of the yellow turbans? In that case, you'll have to deal with my quick feet and my strong arms. Impressive, cousin. You truly are the one that will conquer this land. Gotta get out of here. Fast! Okay, that takes care of the yellow turbans in the area. I couldn't have asked for a better result than this. Yes, that takes care of Master Sun Jian's request. Now let us return to the village. Wow, that was awesome! I get worked up just watching you. Ooh. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Oh, that's it! Show us how it's done! We have driven off the Yellow Turban army that was headed this way. That should keep them at bay for the time being. Ah, you did it! I could tell there was something special about you from the moment I first saw you. You definitely stand out from the rest of this crowd. It is a great honor to be fighting alongside you. Thank you again for your cooperation. I apologize for my sudden request earlier. If only the rest of our army was as capable as you, I would not have had to trouble you so. I originally reported it to Master Dong Zhuo. However, he said there was no glory to be had in protecting a single village and didn't wish to spare the troops. Dong Zhuo of Liang Province? I do believe he has been given the responsibility of leading our forces in this battle. It is not as though he is without troops of his own. As such, it is likely that he is only looking out for himself. Yes, I thought the same thing myself. It is immoral scoundrels like him that cause unrest such as this in the first place. There is little point in lamenting that fact now, though. Our primary focus should be on putting down this rebellion and restoring peace to the land. Huh. This situation reeks of greed and opportunism on all sides. I have a feeling this battle will not be resolved so easily. You're right about that. I'm beginning to suspect some of our allies just as much as the enemy. We should probably watch our backs out there on the battlefield. Now then, let's get started on our preparations. We can meet up at the village entrance once we're finished. You there, 